Fredericks compiles a system for analysis of motion involving performing a task. And we've got Mr. and Mrs. Gilbreth who did that. And if we sell, spell that backwards, except for the TH, we get our third blinks. And so that's how they came up with the name for their analysis. The method is a system that is easily applied to all types of activities, but allows identification that the Gilbreths viewed as unnecessary or fatigue producing motions. And so when we look at this, this is the way the third legs are laid out. And they don't include these in the handbook, but they are included in the knowledge area. And so, again, that's why I want to make sure and we review that and kind of get a, a, a review, a, a qualitative remembrance of what the basic application is for analyzing the motion using Thirdlix. And so we go way back in, in time uh, in this particular process, and it's still being used when we examine any type of uh, activity that might be evaluated. And so there are essentially 18 elements of Thirdlix, and we can look at the different types of processes that an individual might uh, be responsible for in performing a task. And so they could be searching for something, they find it, they select it, they grab onto it, they might have to then move it, uh, transport it empty, they can position it, assemble things, and so on. Okay, and so that's the whole concept, as we recall, for Thurblix. Uh, before we move on, uh, everybody okay with that? Remembering how Thurblix basically are laid out? Okay, no questions. All right. And then we get to motion studies. Okay, so here we get the simultaneous motion cycle chart with time for each motion. And this is just a, a kind of a predetermined condition that's similar to the third place, but we have a chart related to it and then different types of conditions that we would associate with any of those particular motions. And so as we had up here, we looked, talked about search, find, select, and then grab it. Okay, so we can search, find, select, and grab it uh, under a simul chart. So by analyzing our chart, one can determine the time taken by each third leg and possibly eliminate motion tasks by rearranging the workflow. One can also identify periods of delay caused by either the tool or the part layout, and time is measured to quantify the extent of each third leg, but times, time values are not assigned to third legs or to various tasks. And that's what we can do with this particular process. It is anticipated that an improved method of performing work can be that's a weird way of spelling created. The shortest cycle time will naturally follow. Okay, so we've got our process that can be taking place. So we base this on what I've put in quotes, film analysis. Uh, now, of course, we've got video, of all kind, video resources of all kinds of things that we can do. Uh, we can use that then to record simultaneously on a common time scale third legs or group of third legs performed by different parts of the body of one or more workers. Micro motion form of the man type process flowchart can be established based on that type of information. And the technique is primarily used for operations of short duration, often performed with extreme rapidity. Um, so if we break it down, because we were talking about uh, threading a long bolt. So not okay one of the things that if we uh, kind of extend this out is the actual threading process but prior to that we have to get the correct die we have to assemble it on the machine correctly and then we have to be able to then start the process and the spark process would be getting the bolt in position uh, actually operating the machine clean pulling the bolt out cleaning the bolt and putting it in the package and so all of those would break down into different aspects of the uh, analysis. But the primary thing that we're looking about here would be uh, for the long bolt, positioning it correctly, uh, operating the machine, and then disassembling it and moving on to the next. 
Okay, so at times it's necessary to compile them from films made of the operation which can be stopped at any point or projected in slow motion and now all of that has been improved tremendously with our digital capabilities.